very late today. And it's a beautiful day in peace in Utah. We don't know what the date is, but it's a Monday. It's the 23rd, because tomorrow's it? a holiday for <gasps> Utahns. Is it? It's oh my god, July. I don't know what day it is. It's a big holiday. I out live here. in a cave and I do not emerge. Really? That's so true. It That's so true. true. <laughs> but, but hi, welcome to the Girls in the Yarn Cafe. We're trying to stay on a somewhat normal schedule. Trying. Trying. It's great. I'm Tristan. I'm Christy. I'm the dyer behind Dragon Horde Yarn. I'm the dyer behind Yarn Cafe Creations. She's my mummy. And she's my kid. Yeah. Weird. I, I mix that up. She looks taller than me right now, but she's not. because I'm sitting up straight so well, that you I don't are, kill my you back. You are taller by like a half an inch, I think. Right? And um, I'm looking, I'm like, is that a half inch? You're taller than me by a little bit, right? Yeah, I, I am five foot one and three quarters. Right, right. So, so I'm three quarters of an inch on you. Right. Thank you for those short jeans. Barely. Jeans. Yep, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, so how's everybody doing today <clears throat> on this Monday morning afternoon-ish? I'm doing great. Are you? Yeah. How was your week? It was pretty good, actually. It was my birthday. You say it's your birthday! It was great. And I am now the age that I thought I was again. So that's good. Is that weird? I kept thinking I was 48 this whole year. I'm like, no, you're going to be 48. I know. Yeah. Because we're 20 years apart. I know. So exactly. I just turned 28. Almost. And yeah, I think as soon as... That, that's what I was trying to explain to Dad before. I'm like, I feel like I have a Chinese birthday. Because every the beginning of the year... I'm just like, oh, I'm going to be 28 this year. And then the whole year I go thinking, I'm like, I'm 28. Oh, like it's like New yeah, Year's. Yeah, yeah. And so. I hear you. Yeah, it was weird, but we celebrated. It was great. Um, you guys took me out to lunch, which was fantastic. Yeah. On my birthday. I don't think I've done anything on my birthday for a while because I don't do anything big for my birthday usually. It's not That's a. my fault. <laughs> That's my fault. No, it's not. Yeah, because I didn't, I wasn't a big birthday celebrator when you guys were young. I well, don't you know think why. that that would have the reverse effect on me? It wasn't that we didn't celebrate your birthday. Yeah. I just we never overdid it and had big. You guys got the a one party. year that you did do it. You did a surprise birthday party, and then we didn't know what to do, and so we went to a park and we sat. Really? Was it the one we had at my house? Yeah. Yeah. It was fun though. Our house, it was I nice. It wasn't just my house. Are you, you sure? You lived there too. I um, yeah. I lived there too, but it was fun. Yeah. No, it was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I've just never been big on birthdays or. Yeah, me neither. I'm not a lot of celebrations. Yeah, celebrations. I'm, yeah. I'm a chill. I'm a chill. Yeah, it's, just it's chill. like, oh, it's it's Christmas? Okay, great. Is there food? Perfect. Do I get to sit on a couch? Great. I'll bring my knitting. That's right. Let's just yeah. chill. Let's um, Halloween, like, I love trick-or-treating, but I, I don't think I've ever been to a Halloween party that I can remember. I don't think I have either. I've been to one, but I don't remember much of it. Not since, like, the first grade or second grade when we used to have them in school. Mine was when I turned 21. Really? That's a different, whole different kind of party. A whole different party, and I do not remember. That's what I mean. I don't even know what I went as. So, really? Yeah, but... Back um, in the day. Back in the day. Those were the days. Yeah, but, yeah, parties, yeah, never really been big on those. So, yeah, we um, we had dinner, we had tacos, yeah. and we worked on our cosplay costumes, which I have to say, I got so dizzy. And Eric is so funny because he's he stresses out really easily over, like, obligations. And so every year for Comic-Con, he gets really stressed out. And so finally That's I'm so like, weird. let's let's just, let's do the things. And so the one thing he had to do was I had to get into my corset and I had to stuff my bra, basically. Because when, um, he had to saran wrap me. Really? So, so, that, so that he could do plaster so, of Paris or so, something? Like yeah, yeah. No, he wanted to make sure he got it all right. Um... But he had to saran wrap my torso to make um, a shape that he could base my armor off of that he's making for me. And so the whole time I'm just like, okay, honey. He's like strapping me down. And so I had to stuff my bra. You guys are such nerds. <laughs> I know. Such <laughs> nerds. And um, I was like twirling in a circle and then he had to do it with the masking tape. I'm like, honey, you're strapping me down like a boy. I'm not a boy. You're we need to like give confining. me some room in here. And so finally after, because I was, I was like taped with masking tape and saran wrap for like 45 minutes while he like does measurements and draws on the masking tape. And afterwards I just kind of crumpled into a ball because you know my back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My back is great. And so he had me all tied, not tied up. He did not have me tied up. I thought we weren't going to talk about that. We're talking about that. 
Um, but no, so where's was, this conversation going? <laughs> somewhere dark or yeah, somewhere, somewhere not appropriate. Not appropriate. <laughs> Please. Stop poking yourself. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not going to be liable for you winding my balls. <laughs> I need to wind a ball. My ball. You need to get your Finish ball your under story. control. <laughs> Finish your story. Um, so, yeah, I ended up curling in a ball and, like, sleeping. Oh, my God. I said control your balls, Mom. And it, like, jumped out of my hand and then I caught it. That was such a ninja move. <laughs> that was move. talent. That was pretty talent. That was ninja move. I liked that. Us knitters. Anyways. We knitters. We're ninjas. Ninja knitters. Saran wrap. It was awesome. That, that's about it. Okay. Um, but, yeah. So, we just worked on cosplay, and I sewed a little, because I do sew a little, but I'm not very good at it, but we'll talk about that later. In Aqua Session. Um... Yeah, and then I spent some time up at Willow Hill Yarn Company because they were doing a, a yarn crawl. That's right. The past few weeks. That was fun. I got to go up there, take an order up for her, and just sit in it for like two hours and meet with people, which was really fun. That's always fun. I loved that. Meeting the people. Mm hmm I mean, that's why we go all the places. I love that. Yeah. I didn't used to. No. No, it used to be a shy little thing. I didn't. I was afraid of people. Yep. Now I love it. But yeah, that was kind of my week, and cool. lots of designing. Yes, a lot of designing you've been doing. Oh my god, it's been mad. It's been, been mad doing crazy. a little. You've been doing a ton. Yeah, but that's good. Best. Yeah, no, it's been fun. Yeah, but yeah, we actually have a giant elephant in the room. We do. Yeah, it's around your neck. Can you feel the weight of that? Well, we weren't going to talk about that yet, though. Oh. No, it doesn't. No, I'm going out of order. <laughs> Wait, it, don't look, you guys. We're going to take that joke and just imagine it comes a little bit later. So don't laugh. Stop laughing. It's fine. Yes, um, I don't have an so elephant. So we have a few things. <laughs> you don't, you don't the have an elephant. The rest of the week, my studio is coming along. Oh, yeah. Uh, this week was a little bit stressful. Mm -hmm. um, did a shop update that went really well. So yeah. thank you all. Got my new cute Halloween yarn labels that are so freaking adorable. I'm still waiting on mine. Tristan has not received hers yet, but I'm using mine. And so if you order any yarn from the Autumn Halloween Horror Collection, which I'll show later, mm -hmm. you'll get to see my cute new labels. So that's happened. Yeah. And, um, you know, we're going to have a heavy cream segment yeah. today. That should tell you a little bit about how, fun. how the week was. It was good. Everything's, yeah. everything's great. Uh, what else? Is that about it? Designing, oh, <laughs> making yarn. Living the craftiest life possible. Yeah. Yeah. To quote other people. Um, yeah. We do have a few things that are going on in the group right now, though. Yeah. Admin. Yep, admin time. So we have three knit-alongs going on. One of them is the Summer Sock Along, which ends in on um, October 31st. So I think it's August 31st. First. August 30. Thank you. Tristan mother. has no idea. I don't even know what day it is, Mom. Nope. I thought it was Saturday. I was going to go to the farmer's market today on the way here. It's not <laughs> open today. I know. Um, so we're doing the summer sock along. Mm -hmm. um, that is in the Ravelry thread. So the Ravelry group. So go check that out. Um, lots of socks. It's great. Yes. Um, then we have the Those Summer Knits Knit Along, which I is... I haven't made anything for that. I I'm know. so mad about it. You made a shawl. Okay. Okay. But that's not what I wanted to make for it. I wanted to make something out of my cool linen cotton blend from I know. Leanne, I know. From Forbidden Fiber Co. But I haven't. That's okay. I'm over it. Are you Stop looking on? at me. I'm not moping. <laughs> Move uh, it along. Just move people. on. Yeah. And I'm working on a top. I have not worked on it for a few weeks. And I don't feel bad about that. Because don't. I've been working on other things and I'm totally fine Who with that. Who cares? Nah, you guys don't care. And if they do, then fine. Yeah, that's their I choice. mean, that's their choice. I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm like, what, what am I going to do about it? Don't Nothing. tell me if you're mad, though. Yeah, anyway. Anyways, um, so that's going on. And then we did start the Decked Out for Rhinebeck Knit Along. Yes. Which is awesome. Hey. Awesome. <laughs> Which is awesome. Oh no, my I'm gosh. so excited. I love it. I'm just so excited for Brian Beck. I'm so excited. We for are Brian so Beck. happy and so excited to we're go. We're going to go with Kay. Oh, I have to talk about something. Along with. Can I tell a story really fast about something that happened this week? Absolutely. So, for my new studio and for Vaughn's shop that we're building, we had to get new garage doors. <gasps> 
because we're getting the kind that are on like storage <gasps> units, the roll up okay. doors. Sorry, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> that way I don't have to have big runners on the ceiling, and mm-hmm. that way the studio stays looking nice and clean, and it's got like um, canned lights in the ceiling. Anyway, we ordered, uh, we called a company and ordered the garage doors, and the shipping was going to be out of this world. I could have bought another one and a half garage doors yeah. with the amount of shipping they were going to charge. And I'm like, oh, you guys are in Florida. I understand why it's so much. Can you reduce that price by anything, you know, at all? Any kind of deals we can swing? She's like, well, I'm in Florida, but actually, you if you wanted to pick up the doors, they're in Surprise, Arizona. I'm in Utah. I'm so mad at you. But even more important than that, my friend... Kay, the crazy sock lady, lives in Surprise, Arizona. So mad. I like, okay, I'm doing it. So we're gonna couple in a couple weeks when those are ready, Vaughn and I are gonna take the truck and trailer down and we're gonna pick up the doors. And Kay, we're probably gonna have dinner with you. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, or something. We'll have to figure out something, but I'll if even if I can just high five you at the park or something. <laughs> I know. You know, whatever. Yeah, That'll so that's be fun. Ex- I'm excited about that. And then we'll get a, but anyways, we get to see you at Rhinebeck too, so it's okay. Yes, we're going to see you world for me. Nothing, nothing else, we'll see you at Rhinebeck. Yes. So. But for the Decked Out for Rhinebeck Cal, we are um, hosting that with Kay, the crazy sock lady. Yes. So go check out her Ravelry group and her podcast, which is phenomenal. We love it. And love check her. out her um, pattern. Her, her, what is it called? I don't vlo- know. Her vlogmas, because I've, <gasps> that's the best vlogmas. Okay, I've watched that like four times this year. I just love it. It's just so She's fun. so easy to watch. Okay. Um, but yeah, that is going on until October 31st. So it's basically knit anything that you would wear to Rhinebeck. And you get extra entries, up to four extra entries total for using any of our patterns or any of our yarns. And that includes Kay's patterns too. And she's trying to release those all on, on August 1st. And you are going to try to release your new pattern. I am going to. I'm going to do it. I am. It's done. And I'm rewriting it, and I have it in test knit right now. And there have been a couple of errors. Errors. How does that happen? I don't know. I literally write it down as I'm knitting it. Maybe you're knitting it wrong. No, it's. And I caught myself a couple of times, like writing, okay, knit to last five stitches. But really, it was in my head, I'm like. It's supposed to be four, but why did I write five? No. Oh, I do that too. And I'm like, why I'm did I like, do oh, that? Oh, I know what I meant. That's fine. I'll change it later. Ugh. You never change it. Change it now. Or you don't catch that you did that. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So I've got some wonderful, I've got uh, Kim Briggio from uh, Not Your Average Knits podcast, which if you haven't watched her podcast, you guys, she's one of my favorites. She's, she's doing a lot of weaving now. Really? She's into weaving. She's doing mm-hmm. knitting. I've got a piece of hair stick with that. That is hot. It's like a wing. It's, it's a like, fairy hair. Except it's a clump. It's like a fairy hair. Well, it's like have, a wet fairy. It's like a really clump fat of hair fairy. Just okay. got out of the shower. Um, but her, <clears throat> excuse me, podcast is really great. She's very knowledgeable. She's v- really being so helpful. Mm-hmm. And she's testing it for her too. job entails statistics and math and stuff. Well, there you so go. So right there, she's like a goddess to me, right? It's like I don't know how you do that. It's magical because I can't. It's her superpower. Exactly. So check out Not Your Average Nits. But anyway, she's testing for me. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. I don't even know why I was bringing that up. What because you're going to talk about the elephant that's around your neck. I was going to do that during finished objects. We're into me- finished objects right now. We're going to start on to our finished bruise. Because we're done. Look at Thank the you. Look at you the haven't said the right words. Okay, I'll start. How about if I start? Okay. okay. Uh, and I got hair like Your wool. hair is attacking It's you. my wool. The okay. wool from this. Okay. Okay. Um, this is my, this is my contribution to the Decked Out for Rhinebeck collection. I have to hold it because I love it. Yes. And it's oh a, gosh. it's a shawl and it's a sample. No, let's start on my side because it's, oh, okay. my, it's just... a sampler shawl and my goal was to help people and myself learn new little patterns. So each section is a little bit different. <clears throat> you'll be doing lace. You'll be doing some garter, fancy garter stitches, some little flowers. Um, and then some, just some patterning and it's all knit pearls and yarn overs and things, but each section is different and a cool cast off edge that I kind of made up myself and kind of had to do some finagling and it's really cool. I really like like it. it. Yeah. So that, and the colors that it's in are not in the shop right now. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, this one is, uh, 
caramel, uh, no, what is it? Apple cider donuts. Donuts. And this one is cruising Maine. Mm -hmm. And this one is creepy sheep people. Is that right? Is that cruising Maine or no. is it uh, the button one? This is, okay, this is all the, this is the pin one. What's yes. it called? A Co collection of pins. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's not creepy sheep people at all because that's in my Guthrie. Yes. This one's cruising Maine and yes. this one's caramel apple. Okay. Or uh, apple cider donut. Apple cider donut. We're professionals. We oh, know yeah, what we're doing. we know what we're doing. Anyway, this was a lot of fun. It's um, an asymmetrical triangle. It's quite long. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't I measured it yet, but it's really long, and I love how it turned out. It is not a fade. Um, so if you're going to knit it, if you'd like to knit it, that would make me super happy to see my stuff out there. Make sure you post pictures of it. I think it is glorious. But it, you would just use three colors that coordinate but contrast. You know, you want three separate colors. Not okay. not like um, not like fade colors. Yeah, because you definitely want it to be. You want that break, right? You want to be able to see the different sections. And what is it called? This is going to be the Rhinebeck is my favorite season shawl. I love that. Or the that. decked out for Rhinebeck collection. Super happy with how it turned out. Finishing writing it up, and it'll be released on August first, which is not very long from right this second. No, it's not. <laughs> Holy crap! That's coming yeah. up. Oh, that's so exciting, though. Yeah. What about you? I love you that. Thank you. I'm excited about it. And I'm making it. I'll show another one I'm making in different colors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. What about you? You've got a lot more than I do. I only have one more. Two more things. Little things. At all? Right here. That's it. That's all. Oh, I'm like. Oh, you have to talk about it all this week? I'm at a loss for words, believe it or not. Oh. Never. <laughs> okay. Go for it. So. I released last night at like midnight. I saw that because I was online. <laughs> I know. I was going to message you about something. And I'm like, no, I was she too. goes to bed early. I was just going to message you just because I saw you were on there. Oh. Um, but I released my combat socks so pattern, cute. which I love so much. Um, and there's a coupon code for that right now for 15% off for the first week. So it's combat 15 and so nice. it's made it's called that because it's made to be worn with combat boots which is basically all i wear as soon as it's like 70 degrees outside till spring that's what i'm wearing so it's made to go up a little bit higher just because combat boot socks usually come to about right here can they be foot. combat slash converse they can because i wear Converse. honestly not you can can wear, i wear those with my converse yeah you just make it like that short so instead. That'd be or, so cute. Wouldn't that be so funny? I, I had some of my test knitters knit them a lot shorter. So the yardage in it um, for yeah. for oh, the yeah. size that I did, I did the smallest cast on. So it has 56, 60, 64, and 72 cast on. And hopefully my math is correct. And Tristan, I wear boots me. all winter. I mean, I could you totally. You could make this so much you know. taller. And But what I would do, because this gauge is actually... How I prefer to knit it is a tight gauge for my socks because like you want tighter. that negative ease. And so these are a little bit tighter. So you might want to go up a size when you're casting on, just depending on how you like your socks. Mm -hmm. But if you were going to make these for tall boot socks, I would probably go up a stitch count on here. And then when you're decreasing, I would just decrease evenly for the DQ oh, crease rows to where you would be for your regular sock. Nice. Just so that you have that kind of give. Yeah. Um, but yeah, They're so nice. these are released and I'm so excited and people were saying that these look like Dalek socks. They almost were people, but I'm, I'm not putting myself in a box. Right. <laughs> you these watch sh other shows besides I watch other shows. No, it really that. almost was Doctor Who, but I'm like, I want this to, these to be like relatable to everyone that they would wear. Um, so yeah, I love it. And they just came out and there's that coupon code and go for it. I'm going to make me a new pair, I think, because these are really good to wear with my, my black socks. Was my black socks. <laughs> my black boots. And this is in my cinder colorway. I like that color. Because like you made a color. sweater out of the cinder. Isn't your... made a sweater and a hat out of it. Arwen My sweater. Arwen sweater. Yeah. I just love this color. And that it's sweater is actually what inspired me to make these socks because I'm like... The bobbles. I want bobbles. And so how you have like boot toppers, this part is actually going to be a little bit wider. Wait, did I sound so excited when I just said you bobbles? You did. Because I hated them on the Isabel Kramer I know you did. Um, shawl, but I loved them on the Arwen sweater. Yeah, I did too. Sure. But so this part right here, you increase and decrease for it right in these two spots because you want that kind of like slouch mm -hmm. right above. The, yes, the fluffy. And fluffy, I love that. The so fluffiness is what we call it. Yeah, so I finally released these. They're um, gorgeous. Thank you. 
So, I would love to see them in a speckle. I wonder how how they would look. If you in look, like a more speckly. Um, some of my my test knitters have linked their pictures on there, and then also Hannah of the Corner Craft and Elizabeth of uh, South Palooza Knits. They both tested them too, but they haven't linked them because you know they suck and they are not finished yet. They um, suck. <laughs> I'm telling them you said that. I hope you do. I'm gonna. No, I, I love that. I have both of their email addresses <laughs> on Instagram. And they don't watch us, so you make sure you tell them that That's way. Right. Um, no, they're they're lovely, lovely, lovely ladies. Although and I did see a picture of Elizabeth's bottom of her foot, her leg with them on. So you might be talking out of your ass right now. I think she might be done. If you're done, girl, I take it all back, Hannah. And she even said really <laughs> cool things about you. So, mm -hmm. Well, they were due on July 9th. Well, she's she's, she's a little late. <laughs> They're done now. I totally forgot about them. Because I've been coming out with other patterns. <laughs> As you're blaming them. So I'm blaming them. No, no, no. They weren't part of the test knitters. I just asked them if they wanted to knit it as well and let me know what they thought. So yeah. they weren't part of it. it was they fine. do have some responsibility. Yeah, they yeah. some to let me know. And right. they liked it. So And theirs are speckled, both of theirs. So Cute. if you want to take a look at what they look with a, look like with with a speckle. Them. Check them out. They're you know great. what I think would be so cute too is hmm. if it was done in like a baby, baby, baby blue, like super light, because it would look like little snowballs. Oh my god, no way. For winter? Wouldn't that be cute? What's the pattern? Sorry, I thought something was shaking, but it's just them outside working on the thing. It's my no, soul. I think be cool. Your soul and is you're shaking. Feeling it. Yeah. Oh, is it my turn? It's your turn. Okay, so I I do it again. So, so. I was raised in California. During the 80s, and that's how we talked. And apparently, I still am in the 80s. It's okay. I talk like that regularly. I yeah. sound like a valley girl. Totally. Totally. So we... <laughs> Stop pointing it out, you guys. And now I'm self-conscious about it. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Anywho way. Anywho way. I made some socks that... Um, am I telling them what they're for? Yeah. Okay. We decided that we wanted to show samples of our colorways that we're taking to Vogue Knitting Live, and we wanted to do it in a creative way that didn't take a lot of time, and that we didn't or have a lot to, of yarn. or a lot of yarn, or that we didn't have to have to ask a ton of people to test knit or to knit samples mm -hmm. for us and stuff. So we decided to make baby socks. Oh my gosh! So I had someone make uh, on Etsy, and the company was, I can't remember. It wasn't our normal company. I know. Oh, my goodness. And they're the only people I could find this size. Everybody else's were, like, a child size, and they were much wider. Mm. But we ordered these to make samples to put in our booths, and I probably will put them on Etsy, too, as, a, like, pictures. For yeah, my photographs. So these are two of my new colorways, and I literally just finished this one. Yeah, we had to, like, yeah. wait for her to... Finish the toe. This one's called Friday the 13th, and it's part of my autumn Halloween horror collection. I love that one. Which all the names come from horror movies that are, they're not all 80s and 90s, because there's like paranormal the activity grudge. and the grudge, which scared the bejesus out of me. This one is Children of the Corn, which, from the minute I made this one, I've been in love with this I color. I love that. It just, it's got some plums in it, some oh. orange, some... Other colors in there that just work really, really well. I do. You, oh. Are you like me? If someone's like, "What color is in there?" I'm like, "I don't have the recipe card in front of me. I'm I have like, no I don't idea." Know. And, and some no of the idea. colors that you put in there mix differently and create new colors. Yeah. And I'm like, "I don't know." Like so Alicia on Knit for Brain, she was talking about one of my colorways. She's like, "There's green in here." I'm like, "I didn't put green in there. That You're just like, happened, honey." It's a magical thing, that and it happens. happens on all of them. So I'm like, mm -hmm. "I didn't do that." I had a funky thing happening with my yarn this week that happened once a couple times before, and I'm mm -hmm. like, "Why does?" Why does it do that? Why does my yarn sometimes, sometimes these chemical reactions happen with dyes or with heat or with pH yeah. of water. And, and either I, it's like it ruins it or it makes the yarn. Or it makes it, it's like, huh, but then you yeah. can't rep reproduce it because you don't know what made it happen in the yeah. first place. So anyway, that's, um, these are my, I only made one of each too, which mm -hmm. is super fast. I can literally get these done in like an hour and they're just vanilla. Yeah. It would be cute if I put cables on it or something. But I was thinking about putting baubles on some. I'm not doing that. Fine. You can do what you want. It's <laughs> your life. But I want it to be fast. And then why I are you putting them cables to, on them? I'm not. That's what I meant. I was going to, but then I'm like, that would take oh, way oh, okay. too long to do cables. <laughs> I can get these done literally like in an hour to an yeah, hour. Yeah, mine didn't take long, but I didn't know we were showing them. So I will bring mine next time. I don't 
don't think you have any done. I have. I think you're talking like you do. Mother. No, I have a Hunter's Moon and a Medusa done. Are they just vanilla? Mm-hmm. Are they about that tall? Mm-hmm. So they're going to look uniform? Mm-hmm. I can't. I thought you were going to say unicorn for a second. I'm like, yeah, they're going to look unicorn. Yeah, like a unicorn. So that's all I've done. I've been pretty pretty much not doing anything. <laughs> that's such a lie. That's such a lie. You guys, can I just, can we have a talk about something? What? I thought that quitting my day job <laughs> and becoming a full-time yarn dyer would be literally, like, I was going to be able to knit all the things. And I'm going to get a little bit serious, too, with this. It's kind of funny, but it's a little serious. Okay. Uh, the interesting part is I, I don't have, like, I am working my ass off. From the time I wake up in the morning, literally, like, I get up, I make coffee, I go in my room, and I'm designing or I'm knitting, um, you know, stuff, samples, whatever, mm -hmm. and then I'm dying until, and I thought, well, when Vaughn comes home, I'll just quit dying, and we'll have dinner, and we'll mm -hmm. have a lovely evening together watching TV. No, I'm usually doing yarn again, you know, till about 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Uh, but the interesting thing that I realized this week is, um, and for those of you that imagine what it's like being a full-time stay-at-home person that works at home, mm -hmm. I I'm, I quit a job that I was pretty damn important. Yeah. Like, I'm not just saying that to be, like, boastful, mm -hmm. but not only were people very edifying with me, to me, you know, and letting me know how much my department, Tristan was part of that department, how much we good we had been yeah. doing in the industry and how amazing our clinic was and how the things we had developed as a team, how that was changing the healthcare industry, or not industry really, but like how clinics ran in our Processes area. And, and the mm -hmm. That was super cool for me. And then to leave that and the only person at home telling me how awesome I am is me during the day. <laughs> like I, it's, you know, and then I'll post things on Instagram and I get that validation, which I love and yeah. I love interacting. You have, to, you have to be able to like give yourself that self-validation and like well, and it didn't, keep I didn't, motivating yeah. yourself and it's well, and hard. I didn't really realize it, how much um, that would affect me. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's not even just I needed people telling me how awesome I was. It was that feeling of... It's a reward of, system. Well, it's a reward right. system and also that constant, how can we do this better? Like, yeah. okay, what are our numbers? Where where do we want to be, guys? Are we bring? you know, how does everything look? And going from that constant evaluation process, mm -hmm. it's still going to be... It's the same thing with yep. doing your own business at home. It's just different. It's a different kind of process. Have you? Did you find that? Yeah. Like, just nobody there saying, okay, now it's time to do this, or here's what we need you to accomplish. Go, figure it out. I think it was just, like, the... It wasn't necessarily motivation, but it helped yeah, me not be motivated. Right. It was, was to have that, like, now I have, like, the learning self-validation and coming up with different ideas, which I get really excited about, but really no one to tell. Um, well, I think the difference for you and I, too, is I, I was in charge of people. Yeah. And reporting back. Yeah. And... And I always, it was usually good. Like, mm -hmm. it was usually, hey, guys, look how awesome we were able to do. And I think it's very similar with yarn dyeing for those of you that are knitting and, you know, selling patterns and, and dyeing and, or making bags or whatever. Um, you make something you you have in your mind and you think you, you want to put together. Then you present it to customers and a lot of the time it goes really well. And people are mm -hmm. like, that was awesome that you came up with that. But sometimes. But sometimes. I'm and not doing like, kits. <laughs> what? I'm not doing kits. Yeah, like I'll kits. do like sock for, kits. For example, right. I don't think I'm going to do sweater kits anymore. Kits are a great example. So there's people that are like, are you going to come out with kits? Are you going to come out with kits? So we come out with kits. And you know what? It's not that I'm saying, you know, we're not whatever, that it's bad. But it doesn't appeal to, it doesn't appeal to the masses. Yeah. And we both left a job in the medical field where we'd have to come up with a process and then we're like, this is going to be brilliant. The doctors are going to love it. Mm -hmm. The medical assistants are going to think, you guys are awesome for thinking of this. And then they're like, we don't want to do this. This yeah. makes our job harder or that's not what we are looking for. Come up with something else. Anyway, enough of that. But I just, it, it was really an interesting week. A lot of epiphanies. A lot of epiphanies. That should be the name of a colorway. 
A lot. That could be in your of, adulting collection. <laughs> that's my new adulting color. A lot a of epiphany. epiphany. <laughs> Just when you become a grown up. Holy. So what I'm trying to say is I love staying home, but there are moments where I'm like, it's hard. what is my purpose on this earth? <laughs> Because it's seems, you're having you're asking the soul searching question. I am soul searching this week because I knew my purpose and my job. And mm-hmm. when I was a therapist, when I was doing therapy actively, yeah, uh, my purpose was to help other people have epiphanies. But by leading them, now I, it's just me. I think that's why I've been having so much fun designing, and I think that's I think really so been giving back to myself a little bit. I think that's great. It's because yeah. it's a it's a different type of creativity. Yeah, and. I can see the product and like fall in love with it and get really excited about it. Yep. And I mean, with yarn colors, that's the same thing, but it's such a different thing. At the same right. Time. Cause there's not, I mean, like where we came from our jobs, there was data that could be collected. There was mm-hmm. processes you could evaluate and go that worked. This one didn't work. It worked when we did it this way, not that way. Mm-hmm. I am just now starting to figure that out about yarn. Yeah. And I've been dyeing yarn for two and a half years. Yeah. And, and before it was just a, Hey, I like these colors. Let's try this. Let's try that. Now I'm starting to look at the data and go, okay, yarn kits are fun, but not most people don't buy them. You yeah. know, people yeah. would love to, but most people don't. Or you have to figure out what three colors go together that everybody's going to want, you know? Yeah. And that's not even the biggest part of it. The no. biggest part of it is more about m- myself. And, A lot of reflection. Well, and I'm alone with me. Yeah. I can, no matter what you do in life, you're always there. <laughs> And I like Good who thing I you am. you like yourself that I do. I am happy and proud of what I've accomplished in my life. But man, being home all alone, doing yarn, it's a lot of epiphanies. Well, you're not alone today. <laughs> no, and I, that's why I'm probably talking so much. Because <laughs> I'm like, I have a human being here. All that's been here during the day, honestly, have been workmen working on that shop out there for Vaughn. You can probably hear them in the background. Yeah. I'm not even going to apologize. Not even because I'm so happy we're getting these done and getting them out of the way. And still being able to podcast. And still podcasting. Yeah. Anyways. Hey, moving um, right along. What else do you have done? So, now that I took a tangent. Well, I'll just show this now because I have my other pattern that I am releasing Holy on the 29th. Sh- that's amazing. Which is my Riddle of the Sphinx socks. I love spiders. I love spiders. I know you do. You're really, you're really weird. Um, I do. I'm terrified of them. But I love this pattern so much. So I actually. So awesome. I Did you hear me when you texted me the picture? And I'm like, oh my God. Love spiders. I know. I'm They're like, my yeah, favorite. Because you're really creepy, mom. Um, so <laughs> this is in my arachne color. Love. It's and beautiful. I actually did do kits for these, and I think there's only a couple left. Actually, they're almost gone. You better um, get in there. <laughs> so here are the kits. Wait, colors. did you already release this pattern then? No, I released the kits so that you can get your yarn in time for your kits because they are coming out, or you know, close to. Um, these are coming out on the 29th, and so these are called the Riddle of the Sphinx Socks. My husband actually came out with that name. They're very they're handy. Them. They're handy. Every now and then. Good to have them around. Um, I just love the contrast with the, the white. I do, too. It's so perfect. And so it says spider like that with a Y and a dash D-E-R, because in Harry Potter, he, you know, Riddle of the Sphinx, the Sphinx asks, asks him a question in the fourth book, and it's spy... Spy- oh, spider. So I love these. I'm so excited. And so I have a, actually, I'd say a couple. Are you? Them. Yeah. Because you love spiders. I might make mitts out of it too. Oh, that'd be cute. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm really excited. And someone was asking me, they're like, oh, I only do shorties. Um, and so I told her, like, well, just take this. This is this many stitches. Put it right here. Yes. Because it's the same amount of stitches, right? Yeah. Well, depending on how, I mean, I have five and a half, no, I have six and a half um, feet shoe size. And so if I can fit this here, I think a lot of people would be able to. So mm-hmm. just measure. Right, because it's the same stitch count. No matter As what. I have right here. Right. But this is the same stitch count right here. So if you have to That's put true. some true. some in between or whatever, yeah. do it. But you could still people have some fun socks on pretty there. smart when it comes to altering yeah, patterns. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not too bad. They'll, they'll do it. I love that. I love it. I'm so excited. So this will come out next week. And 
yeah, lots more coming in the color work department here pretty soon. I have another collaboration coming out soon with Hannah of the Corner of Craft and oh, Crafty Chat Podcast. I love what you guys are doing. And love I'll show it. the, I'm actually going to show the main color of it later as like a teaser. But I'm not going to show the pattern until the 30th. Hopefully her stuff will come in the mail this week so I can start taking pictures and start throwing out those teaser photos. But it's going to be um, a sock kit a charm and uh, I'm gonna try to get it where the pattern comes with it. Nice. <laughs> Which would be nice, but if Just not, it'll out be how on. To do it, huh? Yeah, yeah, and making it like the most bang for your buck, I guess. Well, can you? I I know you can sell PDFs on Etsy or on websites. I have dye all over me, but I did shower. I know I someone got mad at like upset, and they're like, "Oh, that bruise must hurt," because I always not. have dye like right in this or like yep. right here. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's not dye. I don't think she believed of, me though. The hazards of the job. So um, I think you can online do a PDF, yeah. but to put it in the same kit, I don't know. That would well, be... that's the thing. I could do a code so that you have it because I'm picky, and personally, I like Ravelry. Yeah. I like having all my patterns in one Me too, spot. too, in your library, yeah. And so I, I don't want it so you guys just have a download, and if there's ever, like, an issue with it, I'm like, oh, I have to, you know, email you all individually and give you the updated. With Ravelry, it's just so easy. So I'm well, gonna. Because I know that when Amy and Jody and I did that, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Brown's bags and the seagull she put socks, a code in. She had a code, but and I don't know if this has changed. It had to be a different code for every person. Yes. So that's the annoying thing mm -hmm. about it. You can't just. But Which I makes mean, we're sense. only doing twenty kits. That, well, so okay. I could do that. So it's not that a makes huge sense, deal. though, right? Because then, yeah. it, if you hand out the code, they can pass it along. No, but you guys wouldn't do that. But. You guys wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. You guys are too nice. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, so that's what I'm working on. And the kits don't, these kits do not come with the pattern right now because I couldn't figure it out in time, so I just didn't do it. Um, yeah, so. That's okay. But yeah, that's, I'm just showing because I only made one so far. Is it just, just it's, it's like, three colors, right? It's three colors for that one, yep. And the main scheme that I have, I didn't use all of it, but I didn't make it as long as I wanted to because I wanted to, like, get it done and post it and everything like that. Um, the uh, the contrast contrast color one is 25 grams and two is 20. So I think it's like 120 yards. What inspired you main. to do those colors for that sock? For this sock? Mm -hmm. um, well, this colorway was originally called Arachne. Mm -hmm. What's it? Is and it this inspiring? is the goddess of spiders. And why basically. red? Basically, because it reminds me of Black Widows. Yes, good answer. Is that what you wanted yes. me to say? <laughs> Oh my I'm gosh. Like, where are you going with this, Mom? When I was cleaning up our farm the other day. You found Black Widows? When I was, oh we have boxes because some people that I know. Men. Hoard their boxes. For, I'm just saying men in general because mine does that too. It, it's a, anyway, we won't get into that. But I was breaking down boxes from this, from our shed, and there was a big, juicy juicy, shiny Black Widow. And I was like, dude, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> Because I don't want you on me, but you're beautiful. Yeah. It was, and it was the female. I'm sure she liked was the sentiment. One. I did see a male one, too, a little one. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, um, we had one, but we had to kill it because we have small dogs. Yeah. But it wasn't in our house or anything. It was just, like, outside. Our yeah, house they, really close. They, and I'm like, no, nah, I don't want you We've had here. a little house spiders in our house, but I've never seen a black widow. I don't mm -hmm. think they generally get inside I houses they like very inside. easily. Good. Maybe they just don't like the inside very Good. much. Good. Because even when we were younger, Ashley would collect them and bring them inside in jars that apparently you didn't know about. I did she not would, know that. She would catch them with spatulas. Know. I'm not saying I didn't know. I'm saying I don't remember. It was in the house that we caught the tarantula. I remember that very well. It wasn't a tarantula. It was just a great big wolf spider. Um, it was. It wasn't a tarantula because I had one in my mailbox here. Remember? Oh, did I yeah. send you a picture? Of yeah, it? not a Thank tarantula, you. just a large spider. Thanks. Thanks for that. At least it's not a scorpion. This is not rustling around. Oh, my God. Okay. There might be something in the works for that. We'll see. No one knows about that. I'm going to give her hints. Okay, we're being very... Sorry. Oh, that's not Lord. for... That's only for one person to kind of guess that. That is all my finished items. Do you have more? No. What? I know. Well, I have one at home. It's my Ninel chick, but I haven't woven in the ends, and I didn't want to wear it because it's hot right now. I oh, know. It's warm. So, I left it at home until I weave the ends in. Maybe I'll show it next week, depending on if I'm wearing a sweater, another sweater, or not. But I also 
So now we're going to move on to I Wonder What's in This, which is our usual segment where we open up packages that we've gotten in the mail that week. Mm -hmm. And we show you the things we've purchased or gifts we've been given or people have donated for giveaways. And Tristan and I discussed it and we decided that we want to do more of the giveaway stuff. We want to do more of the giving back. Yes. And so our segment of I Wonder What's in This um, is going to include the things we've purchased, whether mm -hmm. it be at a fiber festival or online, and anything that's donated to us, either on its own or in one of the packages that we receive of things that we've purchased, will go into the giveaway bin. Because um, everybody's been so generous over the, the years, and we've been given so much that we love and appreciate. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, people don't get to see your talents up close like we do. So we want to be able to pass on um, these gifts and giveaways to others mm -hmm. to enjoy, to get your name out there and yeah. help you um, become more successful. Because that's always been kind of one of the things about us that I love. Yeah. Is that we do want to celebrate other makers more. Absolutely. Yeah. And so cause one of the things that we've been striving to get better at is when we're doing the giveaways to actually put thought into them a little bit more mm -hmm. and um, maybe wrap them in something, put together a collection of something to give away. Mm -hmm. And so when we actually are doing the giveaway for these knit alongs, that's when we want to showcase the product and talk yeah. about, and talk about it a little bit more. Totally. We'll be celebrating you. So mm -hmm. during I Wonder What's in This, if you've sent us something for a giveaway and you don't see it during that segment, never fear. Yes. We will be talking about you when we give that prize away. Yes. So hopefully everybody's good with that. And, and I think that's going to be really good because it's going to, I feel like sometimes we get so excited uh -huh. <laughs> that we just talk about the stuff for so, so, so long. Yeah. And we stray away from maybe like the more of the making and the knitting content. Mm -hmm. And I you, think it's going to give it a little bit more purpose. Well, and look at you go. You've been doing so much designing oh, I know. and so much knitting. <laughs> I mean, you know, me sitting home eating bonbons all day like I imagined. Yeah. Knitting, it isn't happening. It's not happening. No. I'm going to get my groove. But yeah. I I think we're both. We I love watching the podcasts out there. Mm -hmm. Love watching all the podcasts. Mm -hmm. um, but I really am in a, a, a space where I want to see what you're knitting. Yeah. I want to see what you're using to knit with and the, the designers you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's, um, you have to go with what you're in the space for. Yes. So if I'm in that space and Tristan's in that space, we're going to be excited about that, talking to you mm -hmm. about it. So Absolutely. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Any questions? Ask Tristan. You I guess Tristan. ask me. <laughs> All right. Okay. But we do have a few things that we got this week. Yeah. And so I think I got more. Do you want me to start? Go for it. Okay. I just have one thing. Oh, yeah. Then I have more than you. Um... Okay, so first off, Chelsea of Legacy Knits Podcast. I love her. I love her. Does she know that? That um, we love her? Big crush on her. Oh. Like, I love Chelsea. She is awesome. Well, she does now. She knows that. Mm -hmm. She's also very enabling. That sounded really bad for me to say that. I'm a mom. What you I just mean love her like a daughter. I admire her. She's so, what I meant. Oh, oh, she's great. She's awesome. You have a knitting crush on her? I don't know. You love her. It's fine. Um, anyways, so she was contacted by Woolen & Co., which is like a facial soap, wool wash. Oh, Hand something, muscle balm. Muscle company. balm? I could use some of that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So she ordered some stuff and I went on their website because they gave a discount code. And I was looking and like, this stuff is so well priced. So I bought a ton. Um, so first off, I got this facial scrub, which I'm really excited about. I haven't used it yet because I really like the wrapping and wanted to kind of show you guys. It looks really cute. I know. So it has charcoal and tea tree in it. Can you smell it through that? Mm hmm. But it's for oily skin. But it has, mm. since it has the charcoal in it, I know it's like deep cleaning. It smells so I'm really, really excited. Good. Turning on the air conditioner. Right do that. Um, and then I got some wool washes, and I was gonna let you have one. Oh, you are. Mm-hmm. Because okay. I really like both of them, so I'm not, you know, worried. So I got one that's lavender and cedar, cedar and tobacco mm. and bay leaf. Oh. This is the lavender one, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm just and wondering so what they're gorgeous. any of this has to do with Chelsea. Because she was, oh, she was contacted, so she was promoting them. She was promoting oh, them and, and gave a discount sense. code. Okay. And so with their already good prices, I'm it. like, oh, my gosh, I bought a ton. So this is the tobacco one. Look how pretty that is. I know. I haven't, actually, like an ocean. I haven't actually looked at them. Oh, my gosh. That is, 
This smells like grandpa. Mm. Does it smell like a grandpa? I love it. I love that tobacco smell. I've it been getting it in candles recently, and it just has that oh, like it's not even a smoky. It's like earthy. It's earthy. Uh -huh. So sure. I was gonna say that you could pick one of them. Oh, if you want one of them, I would love. No one. pressure. Um, I think I'll do the lavender one because okay. I'm out in the country and there's moss out. Oh, here. that's a good idea. And that's great and practical. It. So I got that one, but then this knocked me out last night. So this is an herbal body balm, and it's lavender, chamomile, and rose. And this knocked me on my ass last night. What did you, what do you rub it on? I rubbed it on the back of my neck and the back of my ears. Because that's where you put lavender if you're trying to sleep in like the bottoms of your feet. And so wow. I put it there last night because I've been having a hard time sleeping. And so that was fantastic. So, but it knitting related. Good. So good. I know. Knitting related. I got the wool watch and then these gorgeous things. These are muscle balms. I've been rubbing them all over my hands. Does it help? It helps. Are they cinnamony or what are they? Um, this one is hemp, so it's comfrey, basil, lemongrass, and something that I don't know what it says. And a it's, big word. It smells like weed, it's but <laughs> it works. It smells like, like marijuana. Heavenly, a little bit. I don't know what that smells like. Mm, and then this one is chili, comfrey, and clove. This now you know I'm what it not smells a, like. I'm not a big fan of this. I'm smell, not a I fan guess. necessarily. It of literally a, smells like skunk weed. It does with a little bit of. Um, it's the basil, actually. Mm -hmm. I bet I think it's the basil you're smelling. Yeah, but it's not that it smells amazing, but it works so well, especially on your joints right here. Like for some reason, mm -hmm. it's my pinky that's been dying, and I was knitting up a storm because I was designing so much this last week, and I was like every like hour I was putting these on. on. This one? Mm -hmm. And that one too? Oh no, the Sue. That's a different. Thing. No, that was for sleeping. But yeah, this. This, this, one's not this, bad one, at all. this one has some lemongrass in it too, I think, doesn't Chili, it? Chili, yeah. clove, comfrey. I love this one. Oh yeah. My gosh. So I think it's just more that they're very practical. And these, I like it. again, these were very reasonably priced. So I wanted to pass on the information to everyone just in case they don't watch Sue and Chelsea, which is really weird if you Why don't watch them. Um, but yeah, I was really excited. So I'm going to use my wool wash on my new thing that I'm designing. Thank you, guys you for this. A little bit. Yeah. Mm, I love wool wash. Oh, I love these kind of things anyways. Mm-hmm. So good. Okay. Okay, I have one thing to show from one person. Yay! I ordered from our friend Deborah, who oh, just yeah. ordered her candy shop. Ordered her candy shop? She just started her. her candy shop yarns. I just ordered from her. Yes. Candy shop yarn. Yes. Co. I don't know if it has a co on it. It'll so probably say it on the thing. Candy shop yarns. And because we love Deborah, she's a wonderful lady. Mm -hmm. She's one of our friends. We have friends. I'm trying to be quietish. Okay. And this is her this is her card. And it's just such a great theme. And her photos are fabulous. Oh, I know. And her yarn color fabulous and then she also makes these stitch markers that freaking are amazing so talented oh, I, love this. I gotta take them out because you guys see them and they're called penny candy this this line adorable. the stitch markers are called penny candies and she just so much detail and time goes into these love eyes look at oh, those so and they're not heavy like yeah you, you feel them and I mean, I wouldn't want to hang them on lace or anything. No. No. But wow. Aren't they amazing? Just so, so cute. detailed. I mean, do you want one? Yeah. You can't have that one. You can't no, have the candy cane. No, I want the cane. middle one. Okay, you can have that one. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. But, yeah, so Deborah, uh, she's also the co-host of Meanwhile at the Castle podcast mm -hmm. with her sister Emily, who... Um, she has Yarnberry Yarns, right? Is that the name, Yarnberry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they both are yarn dyers now. And that was my big purchase, actually. So I proud of you. one more thing, it just hasn't come yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it might come today, though. Oh. And that's all I have. Yeah, I think I have a few things that might be coming today. Um, okay, so next up, let's see. I ordered from Lindsay of Simply Serving HK. Talented. So talented, and her stitch mark, oh. She's still on point. Um, but she was coming out with some of her Halloween stuff. And so I got a little platter. A little, a little that coffee, goes. Like a teacup? 
-hmm. with, oh my gosh. For you. Oh my I gosh! Already, I have one for me. It's got a ghost in the middle. Uh, I know. That reminds me of my yarn labels. I'm not going to show you guys. You're going yeah. to have to order, order yarn if you want to see them. And this one I love because um, I love smaller uh, stitch markers. And this one was a little big before. And she just made it smaller. So this is a unicorn. Oh, a black Wait. cake. It is so cute. So I black unicorn. Uni yes. Cake. And sparkly. I know. And so it's finally, like, it's at a, a size that I like a mm -hmm. lot more. And so I was able to get one. And it's perfect. And I love it. Gorgeous. So I got that. And then this last one. Just because I am all over the Halloween stuff right now. Oh, my gosh. It's so in my blood. So I got a little... A tombstone. A little tombstone with a pumpkin and a ghost. So cute. I love these so much. So, and she did send some extra things too. So these are going to be going in the prize bin for you guys. Giveaways. Uh-huh. All right. It's all you. All me. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I also, when I was at the yarn shop, I got these from Fi Cabin Fiber Code. And I got these ones for you because you like the... Turquoise? Turquoise, right? Turquoise. Turquoise? <laughs> yes, turquoise. I do like turquoise and turquoise. Okay. Those are adorable. I love those, those colors. Are. Yeah, they're those just... Those are just simple. I love, love those. Love that. Mm -hmm. So I got you set two. Thank you. Uh -huh. And let's see. We'll put these in the price bin. And then I ordered from Hannah of Corner of Craft. Because she was having a pirate update. Arg. Arg. That's so cute. Those are so... That's just cool, those I know. ones. I love these. They're so cute. They're so unique. They are. I love them. So I can finally use them. Well, check out her so shop. So cornerofcraft.etsy.com. Yeah, she's got some fun ones mm -hmm. out there. They don't last very long in her shop either. No, no, they go fast. Yeah. <sighs> I've been trying to get her pumpkin for a while. It's not no, happening. No. Okay. All right, then. Wow, I did a lot of ordering. <laughs> Sometimes you just do. Ow, fudge monkey. <laughs> what did you do? I hit my knee. Okay, so if you all were on any kind of social media in the last month or so, you know about the Tit Tap Collective. And I think I have one more coming from someone, but I ordered from Stranded. And that's her tits out? It's her tits out. And that's so if cute. it's, it's two if I want exposure, I'll get my tits out bras off oak clock. It's 400 yards, and it's 80-20, superwash BFL and nylon. And I love BFL. You like BFL. I love BFL. Yeah. So look how pretty that is. It's gorgeous, those colors. So um, it doesn't say on here, but I think her, she was donating hers to breast cancer research. I think so, because her mom, I think, mm -hmm. had breast cancer. Yeah. So, and if you guys didn't see her mom's post on oh my the Tits Out Collective, I, I brought you It was heart-wrenching. Yeah. It's awesome. So got that. And I think I have two more. And one of them is from our friend, Rachel at Night Owl Fibers. Look how pretty. This is her colorway of the month, and this is Black Cat Fireworks. Wow. And I saw this knit up, and I'm like, mmm, I need some socks. Does it look Halloween-y when it's knit up? Cause no. Because it kind of, it's got the orange and the green, the black. Well, Black Cat Fireworks is for July. Like, Because oh, it's a brand of fireworks. Like, oh, okay. So, That's right, it is, huh? Yeah, there so I love that. And I got in our sparkle base, which is a high twist. And so it's 75, 25. Cool. It's beautiful. Okay. And so sparkly. My last one <sighs> was from Hey Sister Podcast and Hey Sister Yarns, or Hey Sister Yarn Co. That's right. You know them, we know them, we all know them. Mm-hmm. Tabby and So Rachel. this was their July Colors Club. It's so delicate. And I got this, like, over a week ago, so. It's so pretty. Actually, I got this, like, two weeks ago, so you guys should be fine. And I love it. I think it's so pretty. It is. It's really I think this delicate. would be, like, a wintry thing for me, though. It is. Like a winter pair of socks. Mm -hmm. I think that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then they also sent us some goodies, which I'll just tell you are waiting for Henry socks. And so the we kits. are going to mm -hmm, sock kits. They didn't so knit us up socks. They didn't knit us socks. Um, I don't know why they didn't. Little that peeking pleasure. Really cool. So these are going to go in the thing too. Those in our giveaway bins in the giveaway for you bin. guys. Yay. Yeah. And so from what I understand, those are hard to get. They are kits. very hard to get. So, so lucky you guys. Yes, lucky you guys. So these are going to go in the giveaway bin, and we will show them when we give them away. 
Which I think our next giveaways will be our first podcast of September mm-hmm. because it's August thirty first. Yep. But you know what? We might do random ones because we are we unpredictable. I know. We're like a. We're like a. You never know what we're gonna whatever. do. Whatever. Firecracker. Yeah, we're like black. I don't know. We're like. <laughs> anyways, I'm making. Yeah. I'm done making weird faces at the camera now. <laughs> I like it. Um. Oh my gosh! I have so much more. I'm just kidding. You do? Let's do it. These okay. people don't have all day. I know. So I decided that I was going to start sewing. And I have one more thing I forgot about. <gasps> Liar. Okay, do it. Oh, right now? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I wasn't ready. My sister, Robin. Oh, yeah. Who is my pink stamper because she is very successful in Stampin' Up. Mm-hmm. And she's also um, stitching pink in the sewing world and knitting world. She makes... Um, prog- Project bags? Yeah, pros. Project. Pro- project bags. Project bags, and uh, we did a trade. She was going to Alaska and wanted to make a hat, oh, yeah. so I took her over some bulky yarn, and we traded, and uh, she made this. Oh, that's cute. Drawstring. She's really talented. I love She's got some really. Her and my other sister, Amber, they, they are great sewists. Mm-hmm. So it's just got beautiful on the inside, flowery pattern. But she's got a, I don't know how, if she has any listed right now because she literally puts them in the shop and they're gone in like five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So that was Robin stitching uh, stitch Pink on Etsy. Mm-hmm. And check it out. Okay. And then speaking of sewing. Yes. I decided that I wanted to sew some dress patterns. Oh I saw a dress. I know. I should, should. I'm getting to it. I have a whole thing I was going to do. Oh, okay. sorry. sorry. Um, so I ordered from Tilly and the Buttons. I've heard of them. I know. I've heard of them from a few podcasters. Mm-hmm. So I decided on two dresses that I wanted to make, and I wanted to make this one, um, which is the Saren. Saren? I don't know how I would say Saren. Saren? Or me. Saren dress, and I'm not going to put the ruffles on it. I'm really excited. Did Tabby and Rachel make that one? I don't think they did. They made but a dress with Tabby was helping from. me with some, so I'm going to make this version right here. I think it's super cute. Okay. That one. I like it. That's very me. Yep. And I was going to make it out of this linen fabric that I got on fabric.com. You even got the fabric? I even got the fabric already. So I don't you know what it is. Be I, don't, so I don't know how to. Combat boots. I know. Saying. Why do you think I got well, it? Well, because it's army green. I know. So I got that, and um, but before that, I'm going to sew this shirt, the Agnes top, so that I can practice a little bit more because I think that one's a little bit more skilled. I just want to tell you, I had a shirt like that when I was 15. If I'd have mm-hmm. known you wanted it, I would have saved it. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you. I did. I'm going to make the Agnes top out of just this gray. Gray. It's just gray. It's a it's knit a jersey. fabric, jersey yeah. fabric. It's a stretchy. And this color. Pretty. I don't know what it is either. And you and ordered them off of fabric.com? I got them on fabric.com. They That's were on sale. That's a lot of fabric. I know. I didn't know how much I needed. <laughs> I'm like, I read the pattern and I'm like, I'm going to get a little bit extra. Just I think I got way too much. But it's fine because oh, yeah. I also, oh, I didn't bring my other my other fabric. But whatever. Um, I'm not at this skill point yet. Oh. So I'm going to sew this. I'm going to sew this bag right here. And it's like a backpack. And I thought while we were in Rhinebeck, I could make us matching backpacks. What? Backpack, backpack. But opposite. And so. That would be so funny. Because I, I would mean, love that. it's like a project bag, mm-hmm. but you can wear it on your back. Can I just tell you though, I think that shirt is going to be just as easy as that bag. Really? Yeah. In fact, the back might be harder. Oh. I'll switch it up. Just maybe. because it's smaller pieces and more pieces mm. and a lot of pieces. Well, I mean, I know how to sew you is do. the thing. I'm just like, saying, I took I a sewing class shirt, in sixth grade. I got this. I think you could make that shirt seriously really? in one day. I think it's oh, so yeah. cute. It's not hard. It doesn't look hard at all. I it's super so easy. Cute. It is cute. So I was going to make the middle one and that one. And then long sleeve. Because mm-hmm. you have shirts just like that at home. I do. And I wear them all the time. Mm-hmm. But I want to get more towards like a me made wardrobe closer wow, I would love to do closer me. too but I, yeah it's not gonna happen for a few years um but yeah I, th- I thought it'd be fun to do some drawstring bags as well obviously not sell them because who has time for well <laughs> people have time for that I don't have time I for that know. personally yeah. um but yeah so I was just I going like to it. do this uh number two down here because I thought it looked the easiest very cute because it's been like 12 years since I've sewn 
I have them How chained. How hard could it be? I know. I went and got all the materials. I got all the fabrics. Really? I just have to cut out the fabric. Yeah, I remember how to do it and everything. So exciting. And how to, like, measure and figure things out like that. It's just, it's been so long, so I need to practice a little I have, bit more. I haven't even made my tea towels yet. Mother. I don't have time for okay. that right now. Okay. But I will. Okay. That's all, all I purchased. That wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad because I went through oh. it really fast. You did, but that's okay. <laughs> but, yeah, that's I'm okay. really excited because, I, again, I haven't sewn for so long. I mean, I've done things like fixed costumes or hand-stitched to mm -hmm. fix things and stuff, but I haven't made a full project in a while. Well, no, that's a lie because I made those teddy bears for everyone, oh, but did. that was like eight years ago. I think I've just made quilts a while ago. and quilts are, they were just a simple, simple quilt. I've never made a quilt, and I still want Super one from easy. you. I gave you one here. I know. I'm giving you several. I got. I know, and I commandeered Eric's too. I just love your quilts. They're so fun and, and easy. They're easy. And like they, they're not like patched together. It's just like panel, panel. Two panels <laughs> together, tied together. But they're so comfy. I they love are. those. All right. Okay. So okay. now wait. Just kidding. Just kidding. Last one. So I didn't want to show this last week or last time because this is um, mystery stitch marker club. But it's from Bunny and Toot, and it's the Office Club, and it's a beat. Bears eat beats. Bears beats. Battlestar Galactica. Now I get to freaking use it. So check her out. It's Bunny and Toot on Etsy, and I love it. So I have two more coming at some point. That's so cool. Is it part of the mystery mm -hmm. one? So That's it's cool. an Office Charm Mystery Charm Club. That's really cool. So I should have another one coming soon. I'm really Yay. excited. Anyways, okay. That's it. And I forgot to say, I have two more slots open, I think, on my Stranger Things oh, yeah. advent calendar, if anybody's oh, interested. Oh, those are going fast. Yeah. So I added a couple okay. more. So there's two more, and I, then I, I think I'm done after that. Yeah. So if you don't get it, you don't get it. Okay. Mm, whatever. Okay. But that's all I have. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to move on to... What are you sipping on? What we're sipping on. Right now, what are you sipping on this moment? Well, you have way more than I do on this one. I have way more of everything. So more. You start. Mine's pretty obvious what I'm doing. Go ahead. Okay, well, I do have a half object-ish more than that. Okay. So I finished the sock, I think, last week. I love that color. I love it. So it's uh, a homespun house, and guess what, guys? I found the tag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so excited. So this is... Um, in her Mirth colorway, and it's a BFL, so it's 80-20 BFL nylon. So the Mirth color is the main one. I have no idea what the contrast though is. Is that is that her? Is hers the contrast, or is it yours? No, it's hers. Okay. And I'm so sad because I only have this much left. Oh my gosh. Because Hopefully I make my enough. I make my cuffs ginormous. So Ooh. that's as far as I am on the second one. I know it's gonna be fun. And it's my cute little simply serving stitch marker. Cute. And yeah, so this is what I've been working on recently. It's in my tiny human knits bag. So cute. Yeah. Perfect size. I know. I love us for socks. Yeah. Yeah. What are you working on? Oh, just a sock. What is that? It's a baby sock, like <gasps> this one. And I just started it, like, when we started the podcast. Oh. And the good. color is Beautiful. Jeepers Creepers from <gasps> my autumn... Halloween Horror Collection. So that's another one of the new colorways. I love that. It's in the shop right now. I've got it on four bases, and mm -hmm. I'm going to be adding bulky Ooh. and possibly worsted soon. Okay. So the bulky is being made, um, but I may be adding some worsted. Nice. And I'm using my signature needles on a size one, which is 2.25. Me too. Yeah. I actually, I got so terrified the other day because I was uh, knitting, and usually what I do is I just throw my knitting on the floor because I can pick up stitches. It's not a problem. Right. Um, and so I threw it on the floor, and then I come back to it later, and I found out that my chair had actually reclined on it Aye. and bent a needle, but it Ooh. wasn't my signatures. You know how freaked yeah. out I would have been if it was my signatures? Well, be oh, grateful gosh. you don't have one of those couches like mine that... If you drop something in the cushion or on the side, it goes down to a pit. I can't get it out. Oh, yeah. No, the, it goes straight, the bottom, straight to hell. Yeah. There's a bottom cover on it, and I'd have to cut it open. To, uh, there's, I think there's two cable needles in there right oh now. Oh, my God. No, I'm Which, talking about I throw bit. it on the floor. So my, my chair actually, like... Like, scooped it up and ate it. Yeah. It, like, inhaled yeah. it into the carpet. Right. That's <sighs> bad news. Yeah. Bad news. It was bad. So... Okay. But it was not my two, one of my two pairs of sig signature needles, which Thank is goodness. a relief. Okay, what else are you sipping on? Because uh, I only have one more thing. See, do you? Just it. Just, just one. Wow. Okay. 
So I have some pretty exciting things this week. I'm so excited. You do. Um, okay, so I wanted to give you guys an update on my wool and honey, which is in my Lila Styles bag, which is an Aquatar bag. A cord of thorns and roses. So last week, when I was talking to you guys, I was saying things like, oh, yeah, it's going to be great. I almost was able to separate for the sleeves before I got here. I was nowhere close. It was a dream. Oh my gosh, because I didn't realize this This is made more like a the Ninel Chick Poncho. Like it's a lot... Swancho? Swancho. It's a lot longer. And so it's going to oh, be a lot... the sleeves are. Yeah, the sleeves are a little bit further down, which I am at the point to separate for the sleeves now, but oh, I'm so happy about this. So it's by Andrew Mowry. It's the Wool and Honey <clears throat> Pullover. Look at that color. Falling. I yeah. just have, that gives me night like I'm already imagining I snag everything on I my know. kitchen handles. Actually, I was thinking when I was making this, I'm like, I'm so glad I did not have handles like my mom. <laughs> they everything I snag everything on these handles. But yeah, so I'm about ready to like I can separate for the sleeves now. It's gonna be so fun. There's the last see one. When it's I know done. this is my Minotaur colorway, and I'm knitting it on my BFL base. Ew. Just my shepherdess base. I love it. It's yeah. so nice. It's rusticky, and mm, but it's still soft. I love it, and it feels yeah. really good on the skin. Yeah. So I'm about to do that, and I decided I might alter it a little bit, like I do. And I was thinking because it's basically knit in like a garter. Mm-hmm. I might fade the garter out to stock a net, so I don't have to knit garter for the rest of the sweater because I'm not going to make it cropped because it's supposed to be cropped. Oh. And so I might... So you're purling the whole thing? You're purling one row, knitting oh, one row. Mm -hmm. So it's not horrible. Um, yeah. But because I don't want to do that for the entire sweater without any breaks from here on out, I think I might fade it out for like 15, 20 rows. Would it make it rows. go skinnier? I don't know. Because when you're doing stockinette, it's usually... Yeah. I don't know. Because that... I don't know either. Spreads it out doing it that way. Makes it bigger. Maybe I won't do that then. Because I do you like the I shape mean? of the sweater. Yeah. Even like ribbing is usually sticks out more I don't know yeah so no, I'm gonna have to play it. with it I don't know but I love it or I might add more texture down at the bottom it's got a, it's got a lot of texture it's got a lot wait of does texture. the honeycomb pattern keep going or does it stop no it's done oh it is so yeah. now it's so just now it's just that nice I think it looked beautiful but yeah what you're saying is correct it'll narrow it down it so I might not it. do that um, I might do that on the sleeves, though, because I don't want them as big and bunchy. Unless you did ribbing all the way around, and it came down into, like, a really skinny, but like, 80s then look. Then it'd be like... Yeah, that was in style back then. Back then. Back then. <laughs> well, hey, you just bought a pattern of a shirt I owned when I was 15. Well, okay. I mean, that one came back, but you can't true. be thinking that of all of them. Mother. That's true. That's true. Um... So it's on my Minotaur colorway. Which is gorgeous. Which actually, even now, is still my favorite colorway right now. But that is subject to change as more colorways come out. Actually, I lied. I think one of my autumn colorways might be my favorite. Ah, oh, the autumn colors are just They oh, kill me. But this is, even, this is even an autumn color is the thing. Um, oh and I think it's going to be so nice to wear with a good pair of boots. I think it's going to be so comfy. So I'm really excited about that. But that's as far as I've gotten on to it. So last time, it's it's been like four or five inches that I've put on it. You've done good. Yeah. I mean, you've made progress. I haven't made any progress on my Guthrie, so I'm it's not okay. even showing that. It's okay. It's okay. I'm all right. I you I'm finished a, good a person. pattern, mother. I've built a pattern. Yes, I built you it. built it from the ground up. Mm -hmm. I built this that's knitting. so beautiful. I built this knitting on, okay. Chiago uh, needles. <laughs> All right, I'm my new pattern that I'm wearing right here. I decided I wanted to do it in my new fall, the autumn um, Halloween horror colorway collection. I entirely approve of because it is cool. So I have started it on my, this one is Poltergeist. This one is The Shining. And this is Children of the Corn. Ah. Uh, I know. Uh, I can't wait till oh it's done. God. Love these colors together. It smells like you. Does it? Good, right? Yeah. Did you spray it? No. It's just maybe it's it smells just like honeysuckle. So, that's just my natural smell. Oh, that's it's what you would do. I always I've been told that. See, if I had a nickel for every time I've been told I smell like right, honeysuckle. Right, right. Yeah, it's such I'd a have ten well cents. well known. I'd have a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a nickel isn't yeah. 
Ow, ow. Is there a reference there that I was supposed to get? A nickel is five cents. So you've been told yeah. that twice? Just once by you. Just five cents. I'd have a nickel. I know I said ten cents and then I changed it. <laughs> okay, I'm You're like... the only person that's ever said that. But I that's just got my... really confused with your phrasing for Rhin, a second. Rhinebeck is my favorite season. Which it is. It is. And that's all. <laughs> These are my... It's on my Chiagu size fives. And they're like this long. The 40 inch cable. I think it's 32 or 40 something. Do you? There you go. I I love these. I think this is so great. Are you going to wear this to Rhinebeck? Heck yeah. (laughs) Are you going to bring both of them to Rhinebeck? Heck yeah. All right. I wore this one today because it goes with my orange shirt better. Does it? And I couldn't wear this one because it's not done yet. (laughs) Just drop it around and be like, I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. So I hope you guys love it. I have loved it. I do. My test knitter likes it a lot. I don't know if she loves it. I'm pretty sure she loves she it. she likes it a lot. I'm going to knit it, and I don't even want to knit are? shawls right now. Yeah. So excited. I'm excited. That's going to be part of my decked out for Rhinebeck knits. I'm going to knit the de- all the decked outs. I'm going I'm to try. Kay's stuff. Well, I'm only, I only hat. came out with one hat pattern. Yeah. So, hat. And those aren't, doesn't easy. take very long. No. And even the socks and Oh, stuff. I make her mitts, though. I know. I know. Gosh, they're pretty. So that was that. That's all I have. That's it. Okay. I have and one more. Two more. Two more. So I gave myself a personal challenge that didn't actually happen because I started designing. So whatever. Oh. But I started a pair of Clark socks on my new colorway Farmer's Market. I do love that color. I do too. This is part of my autumn collection, I decided. And I think it's a perfect name for it too. I do too. So these are my Clark socks. And I think these are going to be great with my combat boots. And I love them so much. But it has a cable detail down the back. Yeah. And I love this cable. And who's it by again? This is by Jacqueline Salem. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love her last name. Salem. <sighs> love that. Um, and these are the other things that are being graced with the presence of my Hiya Hiya Sharps. And I have a little Simply Serving stitch marker. But look at those cables. Uh, those are so, so gorgeous. Uh-huh. I love that. Mm-hmm. That really is. So I think these inspired my new design, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, but, eh. Yeah, these are so sharp. They're going straight through the fabric. <laughs> um, are those your, those are the high highs? Oh no, these aren't high highs. These are my signatures. No what wonder. am I saying? Who am I? Right. Um, and you don't have high highs double points, do you? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not doing that. Right. Um, my give me a crown Halloween thing that I got mm, months ago because yeah. I just love Halloween. <laughs> it's the best best time of year. I know. So again, farmers market. Love it. So there's that. But the thing I think I am most excited about, because you don't have any more, right? No. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm proud of what you've accomplished. I did I did a lot this week. You did it's just so not much. Knitting. Do not downgrade I'm, I'm what you've not, been doing, because you've been doing a ton. I'm proud of myself. Okay. So. Especially with the week. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll talk about that. Mm. Um, so in my Give Me a Crown Christmas, Christmas. bag that I got last year. Love her bags. Um. I started designing a sweater. And it's the color is amazing. And it is in my oh, I'm in the middle of a row. That's embarrassing. Wait a minute, is it held double? No. Oh. It's DK weight. Oh. I just saw those. I'm alternating pattern or er, colors. Colors or skeins? Skeins. Get your get your shit together. I don't know what I'm doing. So I did it. I'm doing it in my Shadowland colorway. So pretty. Thank you. So this is actually the back of it, but um, it's okay because it looks the same on both sides. And I can't move my chair. Don't hurt oh yourself God. or me. Okay, 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 we're good. Okay. So I started designing a cabled sweater that's going to be oversized. It's so squishy. I'm so excited. So, so here's the front, and it's going to be fairly boxy, mm-hmm. I think, and it's going to be. Fitting a little bit oversized, and the a sleeves lot are gonna, it's gonna a, be a so lot of oversized. Comfy. It's gonna be so nice. It's so pretty. I mean, just with like the guard ring on the sides and mm-hmm. everything, it's just gonna be like the perfect oversized sweater. And so I did name it, and it's going to be the um, Find My Way sweater. And I was actually telling my mom about this a little bit. There's a song on Legally Blonde the Musical, which is really funny, but um, it's called, like, I'm Going to Find My Way. And that's the song that I was playing a ton when I quit my job. 
I went full time yarn dyeing. I thought that I couldn't design. I thought that it was going to be way too hard. I thought everything was going to be way too hard, but I did it anyways. And so that's kind of the song that comes back to me all the time when it's like, screw it, just do it. I like that. So and it rhymed. I know. It makes me so happy when I things know. rhyme. So I'm doing it. I don't know how to create other sizes in sweaters. I'm going to do it. Um, I've never designed my own sweater before. I'm doing it. And I'm not going to give a flying you know what, because I'm just going to do it. And like so it. it's kind of helped me like, you know, find my way because I would love to design a ton and I love dyeing yarn. So it's kind of a collaboration with myself. I think it's great. Thank you. I'm so excited. So I'm not going to give way too many details more on it because I'm not done and I don't know yet. I know. They're so They're getting rude. a little wild out there. They're, they're starting to get a little I know. Crazy. I know. But so stay tuned. Um, it's going to be so exciting. I'm really excited. Yeah. So I'm going, I'm taking classes right now online on Craftsy to learn about sweater sizing and different That's things awesome. like that. So hopefully it'll work out. Well, you're doing the right things if you want to learn how to do so. something. Yeah. I'm just, figure, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to yeah, figure it out. I'm learn gonna, how to do it. Because right. I have so many ideas up here that I've just been way too scared to actually put on paper. Because I'm like, I don't know how to write a pattern like that. It's like then freaking learn so i'm gonna that's right just because you don't know how doesn't mean you can't know how no right yeah is that do you have more no that's it it's good now why don't you start our next segment our mother? next segment is i'm dying here and i have been dying oh my a god lot. a lot so i'm gonna go through some of these I, I don't remember what i know i've showed some of these already but i'm just gonna go through and hold up all the skeins yeah so the first one, and these are all the Autumn Halloween Horror Collection, so they're all um, scary movie names. The first one is The Blair Witch Project. And these I are really, all really in, like this one. I love it. They're all in the shop right now on four bases right now. Oh, nice. Blair Witch goes up there. We've got, I don't remember the name of that one right now. Good point. Um, this one is Friday the 13th. It's the one I made the baby sock out of. That's really pretty. That one's darker, though. It's a little bit darker. This is actually going to be the final version. Mm -hmm. um, I made the sock out of the prototype colorway, but I love this one. Friday the 13th. This one is the poltergeist that's in my shawl, which I think is one of my favorite ones, but I like purplies and mm -hmm. stuff, so that's that one. And it coordinates really well with Let the Right One In, which somebody thanked me. you seen that me. movie? Yeah. Someone thanked me for using that name. Because it's not a really super well-known scary movie. No, and they remade it. I saw the foreign version. Yeah, they remade it and changed the name. Yeah, yeah. So. This one is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh my gosh, that one is fun. That one's really fun, huh? Um, and we've got The Ring. Which didn't really scare me that much, but Vaughn said it scared him a lot. I feel like it scared men more than females because I, I wasn't scared by that one. But it's the one about the, the ring. The ring. Well, the ring, but isn't there like a DVD or something? Yeah. That they, yeah. That one didn't scare me. I guess it wasn't that believable. Seven days. What? That one. Oh. This one scared the bejesus out of me. The, oh my The grudge. Gosh. This one's the grudge. This is another really Halloweenish one. I love that one, but nope here. to the movie. The movie scared me to death. Oh my gosh. Yes. And then a lot of people said that this was a really scary movie. Jeepers Creepers. It is. They. It's so creepy. It's the bus that breaks down and there's like a scarecrow flying thingy. Um, right? It's like a flesh. Yeah. Creepy. It's just pull weird. Pull people apart movie. But that one doesn't scare me as much because it, it's so out there. Like, it, I don't believe in that. Oh, okay. The grudge was how it was done. It was, like, yeah. psychologically. That was really well done. It was a mind F. F. Okay, that's that. Okay. <laughs> this one is The Shining, which is in my shawl. I like that. Right now. I like this one. That is really pretty. I really like that one. And then Children of the Corn, which is also in my shawl. Which is really a good movie, too. I really like that base. I love this color base. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's a tannish, really peachish, pretty. tannish, peachish. This one is Paranormal Activity, which is another great fall, autumn color. Mm -hmm. This one is really popular. Yeah, I ran, yeah, I noticed that one. This is the last skein. Oh. 
and I've, I've sold it, so it's going out. Um, and then this one is The Exorcist, and I've only got a mini because I've sold out of the big ones, which is really a great one. It such a good movie coordinates too. really well with American Werewolf in London, which I don't even have one to show, but it's a navy blue yeah, colored one. Yeah, that one got sold out too. And this one is, um, oh my gosh, what is this one? Is that Creature from the Black Lagoon? I would never have that as a name. Because that's not a scary movie. That's an old-fashioned scary that's movie. That's a scary movie. Not to you. I don't uh, know it's not then. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It is... Friday the 13th? No. Freddy? No. Yes. Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare You're welcome. on Elm Street. That almost looks like a bloody Christmas. Blood. Oh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Come <laughs> back for a second. <laughs> So that's, that is, that was all, that was 13 Aww. of the 14, because I don't have an American, or the, uh, yeah, American, American World. American World. I don't have that one in it to show you, but it's navy blue. Okay. My turn. Your turn. Um, so, Air there's the AC. We're going to cool off. Um, so, first off, so I came up with a fall collection tune. I think there's actually just going to be seven in mine, because I'm not an overachiever, like Nothing some, you know, A students. Um. So first yeah. off is going to be this colorway, which I'm in love with. It's so pretty. So this is my spiced cider colorway, which I love so much, and I it want goes to. Goes so well with that other one. Ah, uh, I know. So the other one is my version, because everyone needs one. Yeah. Of sweater weather. Love it. So you're right. I think these go really well. They together. do. They go. They complement each other really well. So there are those two, and then. I have my Scarecrow. That one, yes, please. Gorgeous. I really like this Gorgeous. color. Gorgeous. So Scarecrow. And I'm not sure yet. I'm still working on this one of what color, what name I want to give it. Yeah. It's so pretty, but it. it's hard to picture. It's hard to, to put, but it's still, like, I'm still so, like, this is something, like, where were your blue jeans? I don't know. Like, hmm. I don't know. Like, nighttime... Hayride. That would be fun. Midnight Hayride. Yeah, that one I like. Yeah. It's got the dark blue. Mm -hmm. like so that. I'm going to have to see. But I also... Oh, and I'm going to show you guys the main colorway for the Pumpkin Everything kits. I'm not going to show you anything else until August 30th. So watch my Instagram. So this is Pumpkin Everything. Really so love. soft. I know. And buttery. I and love poppy. it. And It's got little pops in it. Yeah. So, here's that one. Pretty. So that's my collection, but I also am going to have them in mini form. And did you decide to do the same thing I did? What? All my colorways from here on oh, out. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to do that. All of my colorways from here on out, we're gonna, well, and Tristan's too, it sounds like, we're going to be making mini sets for all of the collections that come out mm -hmm. from here on out. I love this middle one. What? Do that again? I like that. It looks so bad, <laughs> but, and I just want to show you guys, because I do have another collection coming up with my uh, Seafoam Mermaid, which you guys are loving, apparently, because I keep running out really fast, That's and I'm really like, oh, I made a ton, and then I look, and I'm like, oh my god, they're gone. Mermaids. So, I'm working on it, I promise. I'm going to try to do a hell of a lot more than I've been doing. Um, so, but yeah, they're going to be coming in mini form, and they're going to be in sets. So I'm hoping to have my farmer's market with this collection and then one more that I'm working on. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. Yay. And, and that's mine I, for I'm dying here. I have two more. Liar. Where well, are they? It's a new collection that I just started making. Oh, yeah. You didn't show those two. Uh, that's a new, different collection. So in August, I don't know what day in August. Probably not the first because there's too much happening that day. Yeah, so many people are coming out with their stuff yeah. that day. So may, per, maybe the beginning of August, I'll be coming out with um, another autumn collection called the Autumn Harvest Collection. This one I want to be able to celebrate things like apples and, mm -hmm. you know, peach, the harvesty things. Almost like the farmer's market feel yeah, of autumn. Yeah, yeah. Things yeah. that you look for, like, that we harvest in the fall. And So this is the first one. And I am obsessed with... With this I color. love it, and I don't have names exactly for them yet. It's like a pumpkin truck. But didn't we talk about peach something or peaches? Oh yeah. I don't know. It's it's just so vibrant. I, I don't love know. that. It's so fun. I really love. I that. do too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. 
And then this one, just I wanted to do something to celebrate like an apple, like a crisp autumn apple, mm -hmm. you know? And so I came up with this one, and I think I'm going to call it Gala because it's the Gala apple. Or Fuji. Fuji? Fuji. 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 Because I just, it just reminds me, I wanted it to be apple-y. Oh like a reddish color, and oh, it just reminds me of the autumn with the browns and the yellows and the, the purpley colors on it. I have to say, I'm so excited for fall. Me too. Can you guys tell? I love it. And as makers, I mean, fall starts like in two months. Fall never ends. Not in my heart. No, and not in the dreams of many makers. No. But no, fall starts in like two months. It so does. if you're planning on knitting sweaters, y'all better get it on it. It starts officially the day before September. my birthday, which yeah. will be at Vogue Knitting Live, September 22nd, I believe, through the 25th? 4th. 4th or 5th? Fifth. Fifth. Yeah. It's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yep. And, or is it Friday, Saturday, Sunday? I don't know. I don't know. It's in San Francisco. You guys figure it out. I don't know when it is. So excited, though. It's going to be fun. Be, we'll be vending. We're going to be driving down there. And I put out a poll on Instagram of who's going. And I think only 11 people responded to it. But oh. that's 11 people that we'll Yay. get to see there. No, so it's so exciting. And a yes. lot of these these colors are what we're taking, this, yeah, the beginnings this, of mm -hmm. it. We'll be taking our, our autumn collections and our Halloween collections mm -hmm. to Vogue Mini Live. And I'll be bringing my Goddesses collections yep. and my um, Olympians collection and probably a few more. And I'm going to have some exclusives that are only going to be sold there. There, I may or may not be bringing a Christmas collection too. Oh, that's a good idea. I may bring. Uh, I was gonna bring like five. one or two colorways. I think I might yeah. do five colors okay. so that I can sell a mini set too. If Ooh, anybody's interested that's in mini. A good idea. Yeah, so I might okay. do that since we've got a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we're excited about that. I know. Okay, so that is the end of all the nitty gritty of it all. Yes. Yes. Knitting content. Yeah. So normally we would just end the podcast here. Um, but a while ago, it's it's been like half a year. It's been a while since something. we did a heavy cream because they're yeah, heavy. Because they're heavy. So this segment is called heavy cream, and it's unrelated to knitting, but related to us. Yeah, and it's usually psychology based because I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. It's what I know. It's what I've studied. Mm -hmm. And Tristan just graduated with her bachelor's degree in psychology, yep. which is super cool. Um, but I just wanted to share that this last week was really a hard week. Um, yeah, it was emotional and, uh, you know, it reminded me that relationships are hard. Yeah. Even, even <laughs> with people that you adore and you love. And I feel like it's harder with people that you adore and love. I think so, too. I think you kind of take each other for granted sometimes. And, yeah. Or know, it's comfortable. Yeah. You know, we've been remodeling the garage for my studio and building Bond's shop and it just, we've both been under a lot of stress and, uh. You know, and I can say it was really hard. Emotionally, it was really hard to go through. But now that it's all, all resolved, looking back, I feel so much like I grew, like, so much this week. Like, well, just like in, with everything. You are in the growth zone. Yep, just like when you, I mean, that's how life is, right? If we don't go through hard things, we can't come out on the other side and look back and go, wow, I learned this, this, and this from that experience about me. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm still doing because it's, you know just happened a lot of the yeah. stuff it was just a hard week fresh and, and yeah. yeah it takes a lot of like self-reflection like that and a lot of times when things are hard like you know when you struggle through it and you take that time and you fight for what you love and what you believe in that it's worth it in the end like if you're mm -hmm. taking that much time like even with knitting and yarn dyeing yeah. for us like yeah we both left our jobs we did it we're so glad like how we're so about glad it. but it was not easy not easy <laughs> and we have struggled for years to get to this point like it has been a process it just didn't like lifelong. it didn't just happen overnight you know you have to Don't grow as a person yeah you have to grow as a person yeah. you have to be in a place emotionally where you can handle the stress of having a full-time career where you're your only motivator right right as well and yeah. so like with any kind and yeah you left a career I left a job you left a career yeah, where you had a ton of experience and college and and then I was invested like yeah. emotionally invested yeah. in that position. And I think that's been, you know, that was a little bit of a struggle leaving mm -hmm. that that I had built that that thing from the ground up that I can yeah, and uh it was your baby. Yeah, it was. So, it's really um I, it's rewarding to be able to be home 
Yeah. All that hard work that we did as, you know, throughout our life. And, and are still doing. Uh-huh. Because it's still really hard. And it's not just about learning how to dye yarn or learning how no. to market yourself. It's it, it's about you. Yeah. Like this person and constantly growing. And um, so even though it was a really, it was a hard week emotionally with, you know, relationships, even you and I yeah, we struggled a, a little, little bit. Thing. With yeah. a couple things, which I mean, we worked we through do. it and we learned about ourselves, but we also learned about each other uh-huh. and this and how to communicate more effectively together. Yeah. Right. So, right. So I, I, I think that was good too. Yeah, I guess so. The heavy cream message would be, you know, things are, can be hard, but that's not always bad. Yeah. If you know, if you can come out of it and look back and go, yeah, it was hard, but now I know this or that, or I know this hurts people, or mm-hmm. I know I'm hurt by this. I feel like that has mm-hmm. a lot to do with pride, too. I think so, definitely. There's a lot to do. I know for me it does. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I'm a very, like... Type A personality right here. Very type A and very controlling. Very and, controlling. And I get times. very prideful sometimes. But what's so. that about? Control is usually, for me, being controlling is when I'm most afraid. Yeah, I was going to say, it's all about fear for me. Yeah. Fear of failure... Uh, fear, fear of rejection, rejection, abandonment, mm-hmm. you know, all those things. And that's usually when I try to control my surroundings because yep. I feel safer that way. But mm-hmm. that's not healthy either. Well, it's a defense mechanism. But, oh. I mean, it's one of those things, like, if we're just, like, putting our foot down and, like, digging our heels in and stuff, it's going to take longer for us to learn these life lessons and right. learn how to grow. And so, I mean, if this thing going on with you and Vaughn would have lasted longer and like the communication didn't happen and all these like all these different things didn't happen throughout it all the sucky crappy things whatever they were Mm -hmm. well and I heard uh, I was listening to a book and I heard someone say uh, it was a therapist she said something about um, contempt and compassion cannot exist at the same time in the same space Mm. and if you so if you have contempt for someone which is usually what we feel if someone is not bending to our will, whether we're right or Mm -hmm. wrong, uh, if they're not acting the way they should be acting or treating us the way we feel we should be treated, whether we're right or wrong, we form like a contemptuous feeling towards them. And so when you're feeling contempt for that person, you can't feel compassion for them. That's profound. I like that a lot. I loved it. So uh, it's worth it sometimes to take a step back from that pride and say, I wonder what they're going through. Yeah. Like, I wonder if they're feeling hurt like I am, okay, that puts me in a place, a space where I can go, wow, that must suck. Yeah. I wonder if they're hurting like I'm hurting. And then it, it's easier to have a little more compassion. That was that was really profound and an epiphany for me. I really like that. Isn't that awesome? I really like that. It's kind of like I've that never whole, thought of that. It's kind of the whole, like, light and dark can't exist in the same space at the same time. Is well, you, they are complete opposite. Right, right. So and that makes complete sense. So if you're, you, you can have compassion for somebody, but it's hard to have compassion for somebody you have contempt towards. That you feel contempt towards? I don't know the problem. I'm just like, like thinking through life. I'm like, who do I have contempt for? Well, and or what say, situations have I had contempt for? Contempt. I think a lot of those came from jealousy. Well, con- and contempt, me. yeah. Usually contempt comes when you feel wronged by somebody with like or something's a, unfair an, an injustice of mm-hmm. something either whether it's right or wrong whether you know it's a justified injustice or you know in their mind they might feel like I'm it's not unjust yeah unjust it's in their mind it might feel right but to you it feels uh, like an injustice or they hurt you if it's a person that hurts you over and over again you could form a contempt um, mm-hmm. feeling towards them and then it's hard to have compassion. In fact, how many times have you been around people and they're like, uh, it's somebody that you know they care about, but then they do them wrong and they're like, they're such a jerk. Like, I can't, I don't care. I don't even care if they lose their job. I don't even care. That's lacking. That's that yeah. lack of compassion, right? Yeah. So, oh, that's anyway. so interesting. It is. Okay. So that's what I learned this week. I just learned it right now. Pretty cool, huh? That's pretty cool. Okay, well, that's it. Yeah, that's it. And we just wanted to do a heavy cream just because you learned a lot yeah. from that this week. You actually talked a lot with me this week, and, you know, you helped me learn a lot with my own relationship. You're welcome. I'm so glad. Thanks. I hate, I, I'm sorry I, you had to be the guinea pig, yeah. but I'm glad that you had the self-realization. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry because I think I was at a place where I was taking things for granted and in a rut, in a routine, yeah. and overworked, and I had to take a step back and learn how to not be that way. It's hard. It is hard. And it sucks. It does suck. And usually in those sucky hard places. 
Well, it turned out. It turned out good. Yeah. It turned out good. So I hope you guys can all have a good week. I hope that. And that contempt, compassion thing, take that home with you because I totally am. I Isn't love that. Cool? I, love I really it. like that. Actually, mm -hmm. I think that's brilliant. Um, but yeah, now we'll actually say goodbye for real. I was about to say for good. For good. Um, for good we'll today. say goodbye. And hopefully this can get up in the next little while. We yep. messed around a ton, so there's probably a ton to cut out. <laughs> Sorry. We, we were being goofy. <laughs> um, and inappropriate, and I had to pee. Um, yeah, but I have also forgot to say that my colorways will be on the pocket, or in my shop which is not on Etsy anymore. Link is in my profile on Instagram. It's dragonhordeyarnco.com. And they'll be on that Friday. I don't have them up yet. Friday the, what would that be? 24, 25, 27? This coming Friday. This coming Friday. <laughs> Anyways, but we'll just see you guys next time. And have so much fun knitting. Have a good week. Okay, bye. Wow. No one can tell. My arms are really wet though because of the shaving. You get that one. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Hashtag armpit drying. Years. Hmm. Yeah, I perspire and then I don't stink. It's weird. Or at least they don't stink to me. Lady <laughs> songs like, Your belly button's there to remind you. <laughs> You know, how it well, I'll out. get one line in and then nothing to rhyme with it, and then I'll just start kind of like fading out or <laughs> pausing and pretending it never happened. I've seen you naked. Yes. I raised you. I used to change your poops. I'm just talking about my boob out. thing. Oh, and I see. I don't even, didn't even remember that because I've seen. Do you know how many boobs I've seen? I know mine were not the JJ's. Yeah, I've seen was like, even the penises. I've seen so I many know. penises. That I'm so proud in the medical of you. field. <laughs> Let's clear that up right now. There's a new TV show called Dr. Pimple Popper. Have you seen I that? I don't want to talk about that. What, does that gross you out? Oh yeah, you're not a medical person. I'm not a medical person. And mom. I'm like, I don't have anything in my hands. I can't wear through with my hands. I'll just wind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so rude. They're just doing it to piss us off. Now. I think they know we're recording now. Stop. See? And please. they don't listen. Please stop. Please. Magic words. Okay. <laughs> Your turn. Construction guys, we're podcasting! <laughs>